How's it going in there? He hasn't come out yet. He's being a big fraidy cat. Come on out, Santa. You can't stay in there forever. This is the most humiliating thing I've ever done. <laughs> That's not even close to true. And how many times have you passed out in the Lion's Arch Fountain? And what about that time you went home to the wrong house? Hey, it was dark out. <laughs> and then there was the script cave. Why do you keep bringing that up? Like it's a bad thing. What was so wrong with the <laughs> script cave? All right, I'm coming out. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> go, go show the girls. Wow. Not bad, not bad. Once we change the hair and the beard. He still smells like moot water. You're going to have to give that up, Mr. Bert. You need to smell like cookies and cocoa. Why am I doing this? I am done. You signed the contract. But I was drunk. Drunk isn't an excuse. Okay, Mr. Bert. You can take the suit off for now. Meet us in the classroom in one hour to start your training. Welcome to Santa training. We've got a lot of work to do. What is with these tiny desks? Now, Mr. Bert, you can't use those words anymore. You only have six months to learn to be Santa. Quit whining and pay attention. Training will be grueling. You will be pushed to your limits. You will stumble. You will fall. You will beg for mercy. But you signed a contract, and failure isn't an option. Do I get overtime pay? What kind of benefits package does this job offer? 401k, dental, vision, expense account? You didn't even read your contract, did you? <sighs> Let's get started. We need to fatten you up. Santa has to be nice and round. What? I don't like cookies. Can I get pie instead? Eat the cookies, Bert. Mr. Bert, are you drinking again? Disgraceful. What is wrong with you? What do you got for time, kid? Standard entry into people's homes is through the chimney. You fatten me up and you expect to get my fat ass down a chimney? Language, Mr. Bert. Language. When you get stuck, just call in your reindeer to give you a shove. Uh, really? Just let me go to the bar. You have to be able to do the whole thing in one night. Not gonna happen. It's not possible. Oh yeah? The last Santa did it. No problem. Still in training. I already hate this job. I'm going to the bar. You better not! He's late. Again. That's the third time this week. Oh, for the love of all the donuts! Yo, over here, sweet cheeks. Daddy's looking for some candy. He's not living up to his duties. Neon says we can sue him for breach of contract. He doesn't have any money. Oh, yeah. I'm starting to get angry. Okay, it's on. Time to go bird hunting.
Sir, you skipped training. I read the contract. I get vacation. Yes, you get three whole months of vacation right after Winter's Day. Really? There are any good parties or boots in those months? Not my problem. On your feet, soldier. Move it. Zachary, Zareen, Zoya. Hey, I got a question. Where am I supposed to get a million and a half tons of coal? Bert, you can't just give all the children coal. Why not? At least the little brats will be warm. Mm -hmm. You have until two weeks before Winter's Day to memorize each child's name, what they want for Winter's Day, and whether they've been naughty or nice. Zuba, Zoraida, Zylina, and Zeta. Okay, that's all the norm children. Let's start on the humans. <laughs> Suck it up, Bert. We don't have time for your tears. Abigail, Adam, Aiden, Alice? <laughs> I hope Bert is training hard today while we're busy helping Fairy Tale Kitty. He's not. Bert, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be training? I'm trick or treating. You have to have a costume to trick or treat. I am in costume. Drunk isn't a costume. Halloween already. We don't have much time left and he's not making any progress. I hired the perfect Santa's helper. I think he'll make a big difference. Who did you get? Oh, you'll see tomorrow. He's taking over the next lesson. Yeah, who the f*** are you? I'm Lava Pickle and I'm your new helper. Lava Pickle! Oh, Hi, girls. Ah, she hates you too. Eh, maybe you're all right. You picked him? Yes. Just because you hate him doesn't mean he's not perfect for the job. But can you think of a better person to babysit, Bert? All right, fine. You better be right about this. You'll see. Come on. Let's leave him to his work. You win this time, Lava Pickle! Today's lesson is about times when you shouldn't give the children what they have wished for. Isn't that the, the one thing Santa does? Well, for example, the gift they want might be something dangerous. <laughs> Dangerous toys are the only good ones. Bert, surely you wouldn't want the children to get hurt. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. I see now why the kid hates you. Some toys are safe, but they create big headaches for their parents. Hmm. Headaches for the parents. I'm listening. Oh, yes. Some toys are very messy. Or they make way too much noise. You understand? Oh yeah. Every word. Hey Bert, you coming in for a drink? No thanks baby, I'm on a tight schedule. Did you change your hair color? Uh, yeah, I, I bleached it. Looking good, sugar. Thanks. Awesome. Okay. See, I told you Lava Pickle would help turn things around. Oh yeah. Well, 
still hate that guy. No, 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 no. You guys are killing me. The pink one's for Rose. The blue one is for Savannah. Just pull this off. Yeah, he might actually pass for Santa.